fabricating a lever to replace the broken plastic one and so I drilled it out to the proper diameter to fit over the control this is for the for the throttle and the carburetor controlled by the um, governor linkage but as you can see uh, we need to weld it unfortunately as soon as I started trying to weld it with this it gave a little flash and then it stopped and then I found I didn't have any continuity on things so I took this wire off because it looked a little corroded but that's that's not it I've, I've found now what it is and it's uh, it's in the trigger all that stuff look how black that is that's uh, poor connection right there so I'm gonna try to fix that now I got the welding trigger wiring fixed put new washers on another new lock washer and it melted down so Just clean that up a bit and uh, it should be correct. Bend it a little bit, it should be all right. We'll weld the, <coughs> the pivot now. The linkage is now using this, uh, instead of this broken, uh, this broken one. So that was plastic. <clears throat> so I just created a, uh, a metal one out of some tubing and <clears throat> some arms for uh, throttle linkage from some other systems. While we wait for the new module for the ignition uh, repaired this muffler setup welded it welders working again changed the spark plugs with some I got for a quarter a piece and uh, there's the module that burnt out we think it didn't really have a good ground uh, this this ground is now more secure but uh, it was a problem. That's the most uh, common reason for HEI modules to go bad is the ground is intermittent. It's back together with, with a muffler in place too. So. Just waiting for the replacement module. Now have a good ground anyway. Fuel and there you go. I had tack welded the plate that holds the buffer on.
but it wasn't strong enough so it blew off. The reason this uh, plate failed to properly weld with the tacks is because actually it's a plated copper uh, piece of metal which you can't weld. It welded to the chromium plating but broke because of the, the internal copper which I didn't know about. I elevated the back of the engine stand to lift it up a few inches so that that wouldn't uh, flow downhill into that cylinder in case there's uh, some extra fuel from the leaky carburetor which I think is what was happening why that exhaust pipe went uh, red hot there was fuel being uh, fired on the exhaust stroke through the wasted spark uh, firing this uh, carburetor does have issues when I put the new AGI ignition module on I uh, added a 5 amp blade fuse just in case uh, something started drawing too much uh, current for some reason okay <laughs>